I would not recommend this bag. Um, this is very wide, so when you have it full, I have found that it doesn't fit in a lot of overhead bins because it's too fat. And it also, when you lay it down, it's very hard to get under the seats as well. So unless you know that you're in a plane with really deep overhead space, it's not going to fit. Um, one thing that's nice about it that you should look for in other bags is it has this nice um, check fast bag that you can put your computer in and then you just take it out in the bag and um, take it through security that way. That aspect of it is nice. Um, on the inside, it has some nice space for, this is enough for me to take for an overnight visit. All my clothes and my workout clothes and some snacks. And we have, there's a middle pocket here that you can put some files in. And then a small pocket in the front that you can also put things in. The other thing that I don't like about it is, and that I will never get again is a roller bag um, with only two wheels. You really want them with four wheels because they do tend to fall over if they don't have four wheels because they're not very stable. And so if I have things, if it's a little heavy in the front, it falls over. Um, it also is, is fairly wide, so when you're pulling it behind you in the aisle of an airplane, it bumps, 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 bumps against the seats, which is really annoying. But if you have a bag with four wheels, then, then you're able to um, roll them forward this way, and that's something that you want. Um, it's a lot easier, it takes up less space, um, you can roll it right beside you instead of pulling it behind you. It's not a very expensive bag, um, it's only about $80. If you weren't having to be in an airport, it might work, but, um, or if you're just traveling by car, it might work. But I, I would not recommend this bag um, for, for the reasons I mentioned. So stay, stay tuned and I'll talk about a bag coming up that I would recommend.